Abraham, this is Jason, Jason, Kevin, and Wayne Jang, and uh, our team was called Speed Racers, and that, you know, and now it's called the Cat Street, that's the name of the game, and that, you know, the change of the name, you know, it's like a learning experience, at least, you know, the way I see it, um, and I'm sure my teammates will, you know, expand on this, but, so last week, when we did our little two-day project, we, you know, one of the, the, the pitch we took was to make a racing game. And we had this big idea, we had this plan that we will only use the rollerball physics um, uh, kind of simulation mechanic to make two uh, simple wheels for an object, right? Uh, and in yeah. trying to solve, as we, know, we ended up being a little harder than that. Um, and next week we decided, oh, we're just going to expand on, on, on that same project and try to finish the racing pitch, right? And the components that we that we tried to figure out and that we came up with you know, to make it a game is something like a fail state, the, you know, things that change speed, ramps, and so on and so forth. But the big today, and the reason why it's called Cat's Cradle now rather than Speed Racers, is because we actually figured out how to make, well, Jason figured out a way to make a car, like a functioning, you go forward, you go left, you go right. And there was this, this conversation about like three days ago where having the more basic kind of two balls can't, you know, moving something forward was awkward. It didn't feel as good as a car. And we had to make a choice whether we were going to do the car, which was a little more, um, you know, it was softer and nicer to play with, but also not that interesting. Or change our premise and abandon the, car, the racing game and instead keep pushing for the notion of we have two balls and things move awkwardly, and so now we have this awkwardly moving game. And how can we make that, you know, funny or fun or interesting. And so that's, that's when we have Castrato. Can you show the Kinect? Uh, yeah, yeah, you want to show the Kinect? Yeah. Show the Kinect. Show the Kinect. Show the Kinect. Okay. So now instead of having a racing car that is very cool and on fire, we have this fat cat that is being carried around <laughs> oh. by two, uh, by two um, hedgehogs. <laughs> and he's like, these words. And the awkwardness of the mechanic became a funny thing. As we were like, I think it does. <laughs> and so it was a lesson on, for us, it was a lesson of kind of like, it's just awkward because we couldn't make the most amazing polish mechanics, although we could, Jason did it. Jason made a beautiful functioning car, actually. We decided that it was better to have this, you know, physics based, rollable, two things pushing another, and to just make it about uh, the silly idea. <laughs> two hedgehogs, hey, uh, And my teammate will really expand, especially on the, on the physics and the programming aspect of it all. So that was the big design realization. We have something after, and so we designed for the after to be part of the So yeah, this, uh, this actually looks harder than, than it is. Because if you, if, you, if you click on the forward button, it will, it will, it will move this hand up for uh, using it in place. So in a way, the kind of even uh, and think of wise with the cat. So, which is why moving only like that. Okay, after this. Uh, so, if I move the right one, it will turn, it will turn left. Then, if I move the left hitch it will move to the right. Yeah. So, I have to move them both in unison so that it will go straight. So, yeah. So, you, you need to balance and kind of wiggle around just to move it forward. Yeah. So, that's how we got the idea. Yeah. So, you need to balance and kind of wiggle around just to move it forward. So it's like a differential wheel thing that you have to control that. And it actually works, we have a version of it that works with the Kinect. Right now this is working using keyboard. And, and it's a very different experience, but not necessarily one that makes it better or worse. It's just that if we embrace the effort, you know, if moving things a little awkwardly and having to carry things like the around, <laughs> the Kinect actually, the fact that it's a little harder makes it Funnier, you know, they're looking at you know pushing and pulling, and the cat's trying his best. So we can try the connect version just so you see how that looks. You need to fail. But yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, that was the. I think that that was the big realization. Like work with what you have and see if what doesn't deliver what your theme was uh, reported at the beginning actually can become a new theme, and that has its own story. We tried like a very nice car-like thing with the cat, and it just didn't look. It's just 
it felt like we've seen that game before. Like the, a very nice car moving around. It's like we've seen that. I can't, I, I, I don't know if you know, game were two like backward hedges, like carrying around you know, big, with big cat. That, that was like the discovery more than anything else, at least. Uh, yes. So here's the cat. Here's the cat's version. Uh, uh, here's the cat. Using the Kinect. Yeah, so because we decided to have mercy on the player, so this is actually a simpler track, not like the one that is so challenging. Wait. Um, um, Kevin did an amazing work with the camera. If those of you who saw the, the prototype, the camera was spinning around like a crazy, and now it's following the camera more naturally. The connect is plugged in. It is. Is it on? It is. Push it on. Any reset? Um, hopefully it runs good. What ends up happening is you have to kind of like push and pull it. Like, come on, come on. And it feels like you're pushing the feet. <laughs> oh yeah, and, and, and the reason we have we have two separate projects is because we tried combining both projects into one, but we had a lot of conflicts. Yeah, it's it's thing, it's not I think the acceleration like will uh, we'll keep testing the mechanics to make it a little smoother. Uh, you know, add some animation so there's more feedback. Which right now the feedback more. is a little limited. Okay. I think that the hedgehogs could look like they're suffering a lot more than what they look like right now. And uh, you know, do you have SDK? Sorry, do you have the SDK? Uh, yeah. yeah. Here, please. While that is uh, going through, do you guys have any questions, comments, what do you guys think? Yeah. So yeah, it's not, oh, there it goes. If the hedgehogs are not on a flat surface, then they can't get friction to move forward, is that true? Right now the hedgehogs are just, it's just a mesh that is replacing a physics object that is a, a cube that has been pushed around with a simple yeah. edgy body. So it can move over anything. It can move over anything, and, and that's why I will, you know, a new version of it I would like to, would have had time to animate the hedgehogs and track the steps and, and do something more, a little more advanced like that. You should like spread your arms out one more. Ah, okay. good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, yeah. because they're in front of the shoulders. I don't know. It's. I think it's because the table's here, <coughs> but it's having trouble tracking. Um, the the sensor right is much shining. We'll try again. Interesting is instead of being a, like a big cat with two hedgehogs, it will be two pastry chairs that are carrying around a big cake or something like that. You have like this heavy thing, and you're having to control these two characters that have to it out. A new version would probably have also a cat that is be attached and has some sort of physics, so you can drop it and if you drop it, you get very angry. You know, something like that. Keep exploring that notion. That's kind of like it. What's, the, what's the white stuff? He is just very salty. He's just like very angry and like, you know, stuff comes out. We will replace it with like swear words, probably. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, I can't believe you're doing this. Take me to my, you know, but right now it's just a like solar particle because this is a big thing. <laughs> Initially, we also wanted so that, such that if the cat tumbles down, and then the, the cat will be susceptible to be to gravity and just like rolls down the hill before it resets in place. But when when we did that, like um, everything just broke. Like like when we when we press play, the cat would just flew to outer outer space. So we had to remove that feature. No. <laughs> this is amazing to see a cat being experienced. Yeah, it is actually not tracking that well. 
No, I was watching this work way better when you guys were It was kind of fun yesterday, you know, making it. It feels like you're pushing the big But because um, it will start at one zero position where you position yourself. So the next thing you need to do is to move forward in the Z direction closer to the Kinex such that it increase in Z value and then the thing should actually propel you forward. And if you go backward to that zero datum position, it should actually go behind. So it's like a two differential wheel. If you want to steer yourself, you just move um, your left backward and your right forward or some or vice versa. I wanted to just show you the cat because it's funny looking. Yeah, you can actually take a look at the artwork. Yeah. <laughs> I've already actually uh, making the, put in a lot of effort in making this. Uh, it's just like this angry cat. He's <laughs> 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 so, <we're> so angry. He's <laughs> so angry. And so this was not a standard asset. No. Was, uh, eight, eight minutes from scratch in Blender. And he spent like two days. I should probably should have spent more time doing something to help the game actually work a little smoother. <laughs> But I figure like if we have something awkward, we can just make something awkward to move with it. <laughs> and so there, those two hedgehogs, that angry cat, they became the, the, cat's, the cat's cradle game. <laughs>